Hey, what's going on guys? We'll be using West Coast Shavings, the soloist for the shave. And um, this is actually made by the artisan Zingari Man uh, in collaboration with West Coast Shavings. Um, this is a scent that was, or soap that was sent to me by Thomas D. So I appreciate that, Thomas. Um, the only thing that I can knock this soap on and it's a minor thing that doesn't really even make a difference as far as performance or anything, is the label. So, as far as the actual label, the art, beautiful. I like it. I'm from Louisiana, so the guy's playing, you know, it, like, it has that whole jazz theme. Beautiful. No issue with that. Um, the side label, very nice. It gives you ingredients. It gives you directions on how to load. Um, gives you the weight. It gives you the scent notes. I wish more labels, more side labels were like this. Um, and actually the front labels, I wish more front labels were like that as well. A lot of information. Um, <laughs> this is a little petty, but look, like the side labels are, not, not the side label, the top labels peeling off around its, the edges. Um, I think that's because either A, this label is too big for the lid, or the lid's too big for the label. So, however you want to look at it, but... Yeah, the label was like kind of coming off of the actual edge itself. And it looks to be fairly well centered as well. Like it's coming off around the entire the entire lid. So is that really a knock on the soap? No, not the soap itself, but just like, you know, the fit and finish, I guess, is what I would I would knock that on. So anyways, that's what we'll share with today. Um, you can see we've lathered from the puck before. That's a little bit of residual lather there. You do get five ounces. And as this was sent to me from Thomas, I, I don't know the pricing, but I do believe it's it's a little over 20 bucks. Um, we will be using our, this is the uh, Wet Shaving Club Razor. Um, they sent me this like two years ago to test out, um, and they sent 100 blades as well. But I've found this razor, this exact same one, um, it's actually called the Razor Rock Tech Two Razor Rock sells it. There's a couple of manufacturers. It's like a generic razor that's kind of rebranded and sold by artisans or not artisans, but you know companies. So that's what we'll use today. It's a very, very, very mild razor, and I'm using that specifically because I'm going to use a brand new Gillette Nasset blade. Because um, the last time I used this blade, it was in the Yuma, and I'm not that well. Uh, Burst on the Yuma, so I don't know, you know, how the Nasset works in a razor that I'm used to. So it was either between this, which I have quite a few shaves on, or my, um, or my Rockwell 6C. So brand new Gillette Nasset, we'll put that in the top cap here. And on these blades, um, or on this razor rather, it has the four little tabs that kind of holds the, the blade in place as opposed to the little pins. All right. And something that's pretty cool about this razor, although it's on the cheap end for sure, as far as price, uh, I don't think the quality is cheap though, um, is it has absolutely no overhang. No overhang on either side. So let's make sure that the alignment is good. Perfect. We're good. We're good to go here. So, let's go ahead and start loading. I'm going to empty out the water here. I'm going to, we're soaking in our Mount Fuji mug. I'm gonna fill up our bowl here with some water. I'm gonna wring out the water for the most part of the badger. You can tell the gel tips, very, very nice. And let's get to loading directly from the puck. I don't really time this any longer. I kind of look for um, the, the, some people call it proto lather, whatever you want to call it, the, the lather that builds up inside the actual tub. That's what I kind of go from. When it gets to a consistency that I like, I know that I have enough soap, probably a little more than I need as far as the soap goes, but I know that I'll have enough for sure. And I don't have to go back. I hate going back to the puck. I hate going back to, you know, make more lather. So. All right, so we're getting that nice, nice frothiness on the outside. It looks dense. There's very, very small bubbles in there, so we know that we have enough. That's what we'll go with. I'm gonna wet the face really quick. 
the scent on this. Okay, so the scent on this is there's three main main ingredients for the scents. Um, although I do believe there are some other actual scent profiles on this, just not the main scents, not the top notes. But they are pink peppercorn, rum, and tobacco. And you can see that right there. If the camera picks it up, pink pepper, rum, tobacco. In all honesty, I get a little like my nose is probably not the best for this soap as it pertains to the actual um, scent profile. So my nose isn't sophisticated enough to kind of pick out the specifics in this, but what I can tell you is it's a little spicy. Like I get a little bit of spice in there. I'm assuming from the pink peppercorn. I don't really get any booziness. So it's not a boozy forward scent to my nose um, from the rum. Uh, but, but it's like a very, very nice, pleasant, it's a clean and, and, and I wouldn't say fresh scent, but it's a clean and very pleasant, um, kind of spicy scent to me, you know, that's truthfully what I'm picking up. Now, as far as scent strength, I'm a little, as Thomas said to me, he was a little disappointed in the scent strength, and I kind of, I kind of agree. Um, I, I would honestly prefer a much heavier scented soap. This is a very nice scent. I, I, I'm not lying. I do enjoy this scent a lot. Although I can't pick out specifics in it, that's fine. I wish it were a heavier scent. I do. Um, you know, maybe even up to double the strength. As far as what, what's in it currently. The scent is that nice to where I would I would really like it to be double double the strength, um, you know. In in a perfect world for me, that's what it would be. As you saw in the lather video, this makes an excellent, superb lather. No issue with it whatsoever. As you can see, I'm painting in a lot of water here, and this soap is able to take that very 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 well. You guys don't know, I really don't, you know, I don't really do the, the show lathers, as some people call them. I don't do the big plumey. You know, I'll try to do a little bit for the, um, for the actual lather review, but for my shaving needs, I do not need a big plumey lather. This is beautiful, uh, a beautiful lather for me to stop at right here. I know it's well hydrated. It's it's very sh like it's very shiny, so it's well hydrated and um, it's very dense as well. So that's where we'll stop. We're still dealing with uh, little scratches on the on the face there, so we're gonna kind of work around those again. Um, this is my very first Zingari Man soap. So let's try it out. First pass. Making sure I'm within the, the camera's viewfinder there.
<laughs> Very nice first pass. No complaints whatsoever. <coughs> the scent kind of stays the same for me. Um, it doesn't change, nor does the scent strength when lathered. So what I'm getting from the tub is exactly what I'm getting from the actual lathered soap. Again, I really, really do enjoy the scent, although I can't pick real specifics out of it. I enjoy it, and I just wish it were, again, a little stronger. Um, as far as the base goes, the performance in this is excellent. I compared it to um, all my other top performing soaps. Uh, I don't necessarily know that I see a difference in performance between this and those. You know, I'm just calling it like I see it. Um, although Zingari Man, <clears throat> I do believe, is a little pricier than those soaps as well. So, you know, you can take that for what you will. Um, the, the thing at that point for me it, are going to be the scents, you know. Um, if the performance is the same, the only reason that I buy it from other manufacturers or other artisans would be the scents. And um, this is my first Singari Man soap, as I've stated twice now. But this is my first scent from them. If other scents are the same strength, um, for me, I don't think I will... Um, I don't think I'll enjoy Zingari Man just based on that. Again, the base is great. This is the Sago base, I believe. Absolutely no issues with the base. The scent strength is something that I, I really need in my shaves. It's just something that I, you know, if it's not at least mid-strong to my nose, then, um, you know, I don't, I don't really enjoy shaving with it, to be quite honest. It could be the best base in the world, and this very well may be the best base. But if the scent strength is not where I need it, then, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, all that to say, if you like mild scents, this may be something that you'll enjoy. Um, I would say for me, it's probably at a three, three and a half. I wouldn't really give it a four as far as scent strength goes. Um, and I get it, you know, I'm not, like, me saying this doesn't, I'm not dinging the soap in any way. I'm not trying to put down on the soap at all. It is, it, you know, it is what it is. Like, it, this is how they make the soap, you know, great. Um, I'm just, I'm just saying that I don't really shave, I don't really enjoy shaving with, with very mild scents, you know. So, that's all I'm. That's all I'm getting at. The scent from this is, is great. I just wish it were much stronger, that's all. <clears throat> I did look at a couple other soaps, soap offerings from Zingara Man, and I do think, um, as far as what I saw, I do think that their ingredient, not their ingredient list, their um, scent profiles are typically pretty straightforward, which I actually like. I actually like something that is not a million different essential oils or, or scent profiles like bundled into one soap. I kind of like the simplicity, you know, pink peppercorn rum and and uh, what was the third? What was the third one? Tobacco. You know, I kind of like that. I like that it's simple. Um, like I said, my, my nose is not sophisticated enough to necessarily pick those out individually, at least in this soap, but, um, I do, I do like that it's simplified. Again, it's, it's just, uh, just wish it were stronger, that's all. But it is performing absolutely great. So the Nasset, getting away from the soap for a second, the Nasset in this razor, like I said before, like this razor is very mild. 
probably one of the mildest that you can get. The NASA's working very nice in it. I'm not feeling any... Um, I don't even get any blade feel in this, but that's more than likely because the gap on this specific razor is very small. You know, the blade exposure is very small, so it could be a feather in there, honestly, and I probably wouldn't feel too much of the blade. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Try to liven it up just a little bit. But yeah, the Nasset's performing very well. I think Tim said that that was his favorite uh, favorite blade in the Nasset. Someone else did as well, maybe Gabor or... Um, I don't know who the, who the other guy was that said his what. I know Alex said he wasn't really a huge fan of the Nasset. He, he said that they tend to bite him. Um, not so much for me. At least in this razor. You know, like I said, this is a very mild razor, so that could have something to do with it. Um, I don't know the owner or the artisan at Zingari Man. I have no idea. Um, I, uh, I think it's a lady, uh, and I think the name is Heather. And that's basically going off of um, Anthony Esposito's video, The Stallion. But other than that, I don't know too much about Zingari Man or anything other than that, you know, the soloist is a collaboration with West Coast Shaver. Oh, I did not mention that Thomas also sent me. <laughs> Thomas is a man. <laughs> Uh, he sent me the matching splash and the matching balm. They call it aftershave balm, which makes sense. But they call the splash a recovery splash. Both are very milky. Like, that's not, I mean, the bottles themselves may be actually um, kind of like a frosted glass. But it's actually like a milky consistency. Uh, not consistency, but um, it's a milky white um Splash in the actual bottle. As well as the bomb. I have used the bomb a couple of times. And for me, it ranks up there. As you know, I have PAA Star Jelly. I have Duke Cannons Aftershave Balm. I have Parasso's. Balm, I have um, Nivea's uh, Sensitive Balm. Like, I love all of those balms. At this point, I can't choose between these two, of which I like better. Both of them are extremely well uh, made. The ingredients are incredible. And they, they are a true balm. They really do a nice job. They really, really do. So, you know, look, quality is definitely there with the Zingari Man. There is no doubt. I also think that the balm and the aftershave, um, the aftershave splash or with the recovery splash, I would say that those are kind of that lower tier uh, scent as well. The, the strength, the scent strength. They're not, they're not as, um, they're not as heavy as I like, man. You know? Um, and for me, you know, that's like, it's all subjective. And like for me, that's kind of where I like my shaves. I like my shaves to be, I just kind of wring the, the lather out of the brush here. Gonna do the uh, last pass on the neck. But yeah, you know, I like, I like heavy scents. I do. I like heavy, um, at least mid, if not high scented soaps. It doesn't really affect my skin unless it's cinnamon. So, you know, I have no issue there. And, uh, wow, look at this lather. Very nice. So, yeah, I just, you know, if I have a preference, I would prefer heavy scented soaps.
And look, this <laughs> I haven't. This is the only soap I've tried from Zingari, man. So every single one of the soaps that they have, every single other soap that they have, may be extremely, um, extremely potent, for lack of a better term. This may be the only one that that's kind of on the on the mild side. And if it is, if you guys have tried them, and and there there are scents out there that have a bit more kick, let me know. And I don't mind trying trying those. But like, you know, if they're all mild, you know, between the, the three and four range, somewhere in there, you know, it's just just not for me. That's all. Not a big meal. It's a great soap base. And I, like I said, I actually, I really like the scent. I just, you know, I just wish it were a little stronger, that's all. Alright, let's finish her up. Oh, yeah. I'm honestly really liking this Nasset. And it's probably helping that I'm using a very, very mild razor, but... Oh, I had a question about um, aftershave splashes and balms. I'm sorry, brother. I forgot your name. You sent me a you sent me an email tonight, actually, um, and I responded to you. And I'm just going to kind of go over it for everybody. So this gentleman sent me an email and said he's seen a lot of guys using. Like witch hazel after shave, after they finish shaving, like I'm I'm doing now. A lot of guys use like a witch hazel after, which I, which I do sometimes too. Um, and then they'll put on an a, a aftershave balm, like a balm. And then after the balm, they put on an aftershave splash. Um, or they'll put on alum after the balm. Um... So I won't go into detail like I did with him and explain everything. But what I'll tell you guys is if you're putting on a splash or alum after your balm, if it's working for you, go for it, man. But to me, that like, it completely nullifies the balm. If I'm putting on a nice moisturizing balm, kind of like a lotion, then I go back and alum up my face or go back and put an alcohol splash on, like you're nullifying the the moisturizer in the. All right, we'll leave it at that. Again, if it's working for you, do it, man. I, I am I am no one to tell you how to how to do your shave or or do you know whatever whatever you enjoy, whatever works for you. Absolutely, do it. Don't listen to me. But he asked for my opinion. I gave him my opinion, and <laughs> I'm giving you guys my opinion. So. All right, let's go with, you know what? I also told him that I typically don't go with a balm and an aftershave splash, but that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna put on the splash, because I wanna show you guys that this is pretty milky. Let me take off my rings. So. You see, it, it's like, it's white. Um, it's very nice, it's very nice. The ingredients on here are very nice as well. This is not an alcoholic balm or alcoholic splash and the balm is not alcoholic either. Oh yeah. Very, very nice. In the following shave, um, I'll also be using a soap sent from Thomas again. He sent me this, and uh, then I think a day or two later, he said that he's sending out another soap. So we'll be using that one for the next shave. Um, I'll probably it's it's another soap that I've never tried. It's another artisan that I've never tried. So I'll probably do the typical um, kind of lather performance test. 
And then um, after that, I'll upload the actual shape with it. So, okay, let's go ahead. We're letting this dry a little bit. I have a little bit of weepage from the blade going on. So I'll go ahead and cap off the bomb. I'm sorry, the, the splash, and we're going to use the bomb. I'm trying to see water, uh, witch hazel, metal foam, oil, uh, glycerin stearate, um, and PEG 100 stearate, jojoba oil, oat seed oil, glycerin. Um, uh, what do we have? Satirial alcohol, settle alcohol, some stuff I can't pronounce, sorbitol. And fragrance oh pro uh, propylene glycol as well so yeah some stuff like i said i, I can't really pronounce in here but <laughs> and i probably need to look up ingredients so ingredients that i typically don't know about i like to look up um, i have not looked up these ingredients yet for instance um and this stuff comes shooting out dude like it comes flying out of there it's not like my other, uh, obviously Duke Cannon just kind of comes as you squirt it. Um, but this has kind of like that same little push thing, but this comes out very slow and you can kind of um, control how much comes out. Now this stuff just, pow. so just be careful. That's all I'm saying. This is also what I told uh, the gentleman that emailed me about the, the bomb and the aftershave and the, he said, if you put on a bomb, or if you put on a splash and then put on a bomb after that, wouldn't that like kind of kill the scent? And like, yeah, if you're not using the same scent, but I'm using the, I'm using the uh, bomb and then I'm using the, um, I'm using the splash and then I'm using the bomb, same scent. So it's going to linger. Oh yeah. Nice and moisturizing bomb. You can just feel it, you know, like your hand just kind of glides. But it's like sticky as well. Not sticky in a bad way, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, you, it's that moisturizing feel. Like a lotion, like a good lotion. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thank you for um, tuning into the shave. Um, thank you, Thomas, for sending over the uh, products here. And uh, I look forward to the next shave as well with the other ones that you're sending over that I've never tried before. So, um yeah, if West Coast Shaving or Zingari men are watching this, uh, which I really doubt, like there's like a 0.0001% chance that they do. But like the soap is great. The base is great. The scent is very, very, very nice. Um, the scent strength is not for me. Like it's way too low for, for what I enjoy. So um, not that you care about what I what I think of the soap. But anyway, <laughs> all right, guys, hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, be kind to one another always because we never know what other people are going through in their lives. Um, people have bad days. So just kind of, you know, just kind of let it roll off the shoulder and be kind. See you guys for the next shave.